G'day, g'day gang, how's everyone going? Welcome back to some more Alliance War action here in Puzzle Combat. Today we have got ESF matched up with Taboo um, for this match's war. So yeah, green tanks their side, red our side. I think the battlefield is equal. I could be wrong on that front. I, I don't pay it too much attention at this point in time. But anyway, we're jumping in. We've got our six flags. Uh, interestingly for their side of things, uh, they have got the green tanks, but every team has got a double blue flank. Uh, so essentially what I've done this time is rather than go a heavy stack against the tank and end up weak against both flanks, what I've chosen to do instead is I've actually gone my majority stack in green, uh, stacking against the flanks and being neutral against the tank. Uh, then we've gone with two reds in each attack team just to maintain some sort of uh, strong presence against those um, green tanks. And yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. So yeah, a lot of these teams, they'll be similar in their core to what we see uh, against blue tanks, particularly against ghosts. So you'll see a lot of the fiddle and aquani combination with the healer. Um, but the two reds is a little bit different. Normally I don't use reds and greens together too often. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, we're off. We've had a pretty good start, let's be real. Uh, we managed to clear the tank and the right-hand side. Uh, Vision has fired, but I've got this board pretty well under control. So yeah, as I said, you'll see this combination of Fiddle and Aquani quite often. I find it a very potent combination. Both fast damage dealers. Uh, Fiddle does the bleed out to three enemies when because uh, she speed breaks without needing a speed gun, so I can put the um, carnival weapon on her. And then yeah, we just whack in a healer, in this case Venus, um, and yeah, you've got a, a pretty awesome kick-ass team. Um, so yeah, we're off, we've pretty much finished this one off, it's just a matter of finishing vision now. Um, yeah, he's, he's going to play a little bit of a pain in the ass. He does a lot of dodging from memory on this one, and I think if I can recall my exact words uh, when I did get the kill on him, it was something to the effect of, take that you stupid dodgy bastard because um, he does a lot of dodging, like, look at all this, even with, we've got a match three red, match four red lined up straight on him, all right, so we'll take the heal, pop the match four straight on to vision, and do we get the kill, look how much health he's got left, no, misses, it actually takes the second match three that ghosts in, um, that combos in to actually get the kill, it's ridiculous, anyway, that's obviously just a 16% dodge chance, right, like, naturally, um, anyway, Next up, uh, we've gone with another uh, Equani and Fiddle combination chucked in uh, this time. I'm pretty sure it was Variant Throttle as the healer, yep, uh, to dispel some of the buffs, particularly the buffs that we get from um, Sapphire and also a Yumi there. So, a uh, nice little red match uh, onto a Yumi there. Not a lot else going on, uh, so we do take the green match. Unfortunately, do uh, charge fiddle and uh, not much I can do about it to just uh, get rid of her effect because I didn't bring a dispeller along um, which was actually sorry I did it's just he hasn't charged yet uh, and nor is he going to charge because I'm pretty sure he dies here from not Sapphire's direct damage but yeah the slash attack that comes afterwards so yeah unfortunately we're in a little bit of a pickle um, we've got a really nice board uh, very very unfortunate cascade right here like super super unfortunate because yes it charged our heroes but we did take a lot of counter-attack damage from uh, that cascade and then the remaining tiles set off vision and he goes whack-a-mole so yeah one of those times when uh, you don't actually want a cascade you just wanted the tiles you made the match of um, which would have charged my heroes and that would have been the end of it if it had literally if it had stayed as the the green match i made at the start i would have had my heroes charged i could have played whack-a-mole with vision uh put the charge control on him killed him dead and then played with fiddle afterwards but uh with aquani afterwards but anyway um is what it is um sometimes the the cascades work for you other times they work against you so uh amigo is up next uh three two split again as i said with all of these ones so we've got another variant throttle um for the dispel effect to dispel away um a Yumi's effect and if not a Yumi then we've also got the Dispel to work on again um, that Sapphire and um, now Mayhem is the combination here so um, not a fantastic opening board I want to say I didn't get really too much to, to get the kill on a Yumi um, do manage to get her dead now but unfortunately we are going to trigger Mayhem um, he does play smashy bash uh, a little bit but I do have enough left on his on Brock's health to be able to survive uh, at least to be able to dispel his effect and then Pulse can charge and fire off afterwards. So um, we're back in the game, get the kill there with the green tiles after dispelling his effect. Uh, Amethyst is trying very hard, um, 
to to get the kill i do take a little bit of a gamble here um basically i don't fire um variant throttle because i'm hoping that shutdown ends up targeting someone else um so that way i can dispel away the the buffs that um uh, what's the name sapphire's about to make unfortunately uh, sidestep does target variant throttle and he doesn't dodge it so we are unfortunately silenced with him so we can't actually dispel those buffs very unfortunate but not the end of the world we did get a nice green cascade there onto sapphire herself and then we will follow it up with a green match as well just to kill her off so uh, a little bit unfortunate but at the end of the day it's now the main focus is killing um Amethyst, because if I can get rid of Amethyst off the board, uh, she's really the only threat. So shutdown is annoying, but at the end of the day, Shutdown's damage is nothing compared to Amethyst's when Amethyst gets rolling. So I kind of make a couple matches, make use of the fact that Amethyst is going to charge anyway and fire her skill um, just there. So that was why I made those matches on her. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to ghost as much as I can, save up the tiles and uh, some of my special skills so that as soon as Amethyst comes out of stealth mode, uh, I'll be able to just hit her with Whack and um, also with Emerald as well. So uh, there we go, we play Whack-A-Mole with Whack. Um, interestingly enough, they, it actually works there. Recharge my greens, play Whack with Whack-A-Mole. Sorry, play Whack-A-Mole again with Whack and then follow it up with Amethyst, uh, Emerald rather. Um, and now it's just shut down on her own and she dies from a random match three as well as some minion strike. So yeah, worked out in the end. Uh, can't complain too much about it. Uh, did um, was a bit unfortunate, I think, with the gamble, but you know, it was ultimately it was a 50-50 chance it was whether Throttle was going to get targeted because Brock was already dead. So um, took the 50-50 and lost with it. So next up, we've got DYM uh, gone with um, a different setup, uh, <laughs> very different setup. So we've got uh, double charge control in the Insanity from Mev and Aya and Syntax. Both of them are quite slow, so I did put. Um, Bunraku in there to basically enhance their speed uh, by the buff that she gives uh, and then we can just play out with the rest of the hero. So I did, in the back of my head when I set this team up, I put Janesaw in there because I thought this team had Hypernova. It does not. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that it did, but it doesn't. So my Janesaw is somewhat wasted in this fight because no one is really buff uh, reliant. So I can't really, you know, take advantage of the fact that I can buff, uh, block their buffs. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we obviously have to play out this fight with what we brought in. Um, do have uh, Bunraku charge, lost Syntax, which is unfortunate, but still have Mevanaya. Um, so I'm going to put the charge control out on um, Flak, uh, if I can, if he doesn't dodge or resist it. He did dodge and resist it, um, so we didn't get the charge control on him. <laughs> we do have a lovely red match on him, so I'll just take that, deal as much damage as I can almost lose variant throttle which would have been possibly devastating at this point uh, given uh, the hp that's on there at the moment uh, but yeah and particularly seeing as flak can just con continuously reach any his health but we did maintain our healer and yeah obviously we've got our charge control still as well as a sniper so we can pretty safely close this one out which we ultimately do 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 um with chainsaw at the end of the day don't need anyone else there we go Cool, uh, two flags left. So we've got, what have we had? We've had a couple one shots, uh, fail. So what is it, three one shots and a fail is what my score is at the moment, I think, from memory. Um, all right, cool. We go in again, go in again, go in again. Um, <clears throat> another three, two, red and green split. This time we've got Accent and um, Renegade as the two reds. Uh, and our three greens, we've obviously can see another combination of Fiddle and Aquani with Wyatt as the healer this time. So uh, Jack is the tank. I get a little bit uh, off base there with uh, the Cascade and Jack ends up firing before I manage to get the kill. Um, can't really do too much about it. I do pop the red um, X thing, which will take out the blue grenade. Uh, charge uh, Renegade. I hold Renegade back one turn um, just because I want to make sure of this kill on Jack, which I now do. Um, so here we go, we play bang and uh, Jack dies and then we go whack on, um, what's the name? Unfortunately here, Torrent stays alive with literally four HP. And this is quite literally the turning point on this fight. Um, if Torrent hadn't of stayed alive with those four HP, he wouldn't have charged his skill. 
Uh, and if he hadn't charged his skill and fired his skill, he wouldn't have taken out the charge on Fiddle, as well as getting the kill shot on um, on White. But because of all of that, uh, Hypernova ends up... Well, there's a lot of things that could have still happened in this fight, but I do believe if those 4 HP, if the damage RNG had been a little bit different, a little bit skewed, uh, even if it was like 0.01 different on the, the RNG factor, I think this fight would have been very easily winnable. But yeah, one of those times when just a tiny amount of residual HP just goes against you. And yeah, as you can see, it's Pulse ended up charging and firing. Uh, could have charge blocked her with Fiddle and then yeah, anything could have been possible, but ended up getting screwed by 4 HP, um, which I was very annoyed about. Um, I believe the F-bomb was dropped a couple times, uh, along with, you have got to be kidding me. Um, anyway, final flag, we've got Access, uh, Aurora Tank, with a variant face-off in the flank. I did pick up a weaker team um, for the final flag, just because I am running a little bit depleted on some of my top-tier green heroes, uh, seeing as I've been quite heavy with my green stacks. Um, but yeah, you can see we've still managed to get rid of Aurora. Uh, we've gotten um, the combination of Rudolph and Scarlet up and running and fired. Uh, so getting some of that damage off now. And then, yeah, we're just going to play this board around a little bit. Um, as much as we can, I would like to avoid Aviana for charging. Um, get a nice little green cascade there. And then fortunately, the kill shot with Scarlet's effect. Um, and then, yeah, again, a nice little green cascade to kill Tornado before he fires. Uh, and then it's pretty much Jova from here. I do play around a little bit with um, the remaining board and the remaining skills. Um, but at the end of the day, I do like using some of these heroes. So I like watching them uh, play out their skills a bit. So um, variant face off, charges, fires, hits all three counter attacks, takes a lot of damage back, cleanse away his effect with uh, Rudolph and then just pop off uh, Mev and Aya just for safety. And then, yeah, it's just, Poor old Dune on his own. Uh, and then it's not enough to get the kill with Scarlet. Like I was hoping, I thought Scarlet might have had one more turn. It's not quite enough, so I ended up just taking the kill with Tamika. And, oh, not Tamika, with Mev and I, sorry. I thought I had the kill with Tamika, but not quite. Anyway, there we go. So ended up, I think the final score was four kills and then two uh, partials or two fails. Um, still grates on me a little bit having to leave cleans, but it is what it is. That's the Alliance's tactic. So long way to go in this war still. I think there's like 50 odd flags left, but yeah, you can see there, there's me five and six hits. Um, as I said, the four one shots, two fails. Um, and we ended up with 267 points, 269. Um, it was the final score. So yeah, uh, as I said, long way to go still in this war. Uh, we've got 11 flags left. They've got 53. Um, so to close the gap, I did a quick calc. They've got to get something like 42 points per flag, which is quite difficult. So I think we've got this in the bag, but you know, anything can happen in the final stages of war. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Good luck. Hopefully your wars go well and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Cheers. Bye.